Hi, my name is Khurram Hassan. I am the director of A2RL Abu Dhabi Autonomous Racing League. A2RL is uh, the world's first AI extreme sport, uh, where AI is the sport. Uh, and um, software coders from around the world compete for $2.25 million uh, in 12 teams. Uh, those teams from around the world, from all the way from uh, Japan to the US, uh, bring uh, the expertise in autonomous robotics to the racetrack. We use the racetrack as a testing ground for the uh, latest technology within uh, the hardware space as an old race organizer, but the teams compete sh purely in the software domain where the best code wins. Um, as part of that, uh, Abu Dhabi uh, is leading the way in uh, the autonomous robotics and AI space to attracting the best companies' minds and talent um, to Abu Dhabi and using the race as a vehicle to bring people here and then share that technology with the world. In, in 2024, we had our first race uh, in April. Um, we got a million people to watch online. Uh, we got 10,000 people in the stadium uh, at Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi. Um, it was a showcase of technology team and talent, and we used a competition to uh, enable uh, companies and, and, and universities from around the world uh, to showcase their talent um, in the software domain of autonomous robotics. This is critical because this will have a huge implication in terms of the road safety of tomorrow and every car will have an element of AI. What I mean by that is that the average driver versus what an AI can do is vastly different. Actually, we see that a car can perform a lot more than what the average driver is able to do. Uh, that's because we as humans are distracted and everything else. And our element is that uh, every car having AI in it will have the ability in that critical moment to be able to get you out of accident situations, to make the right decision making and help you as a driver angel so that AI can bridge the gap between what a car can do and versus what uh, a average driver can uh, drive a, a car. Um, having uh, testing this on the racetrack enables us to actually um, test a lot of different technologies in terms of the speeds that we are um, using the cars at, or the cars are being driven uh, are being driven through software at. So these cars are the second fastest car after F1. Uh, these are De uh, Delara Japanese Super Formula cars. Um, and that allows technology and AI to be having to respond at um, F1 speeds, which makes a vast difference when though that technology comes onto our roads. So this is a perfect test bed for technology, both in terms of hardware and uh, from our perspective as a team organizers, uh, but also from the uh, team side uh, who can test the best software that is critical and will be implemented in each of our cars. For 2025, we're also launching the autonomous A2RL Autonomous Drone Racing Competition in partnership with DCL, Drones Champions League, whereby some of the best universities around the world are now competing on autonomous racing. Uh, that allows us to actually look in terms of what is the next steps, what's uh, going to be implemented, not just on our roads, but also in our skies and the technology and the software that's needed to be developed in that space. Um, AI plays a huge element there as well. And it's really important for us to showcase that as part of the introduction of new sports within the autonomous A2RL uh, landscape. Um, and going forward, uh, it's, it's critical for us to bring fans to the racetrack, to the stadiums, uh, and also online to understand the technology of today, but also to the understand the technology of tomorrow and really interact with those. We're actually doing scientific experiments in the public domain. And, and that is the value of A2RL, um, bringing the ecosystem uh, and, and the best minds to Abu Dhabi and sharing that with the world. Whilst we're also now looking at implementing the next stage in the gamification of A2RL with live simulated races, whatever we are able to do on the physical track, we're actually to do in a digital twin racing environment. So a simulation environment where the same code 
be it for cars or be it for drones, is simulated to allow teams and people to practice, but also to use that as a way of introducing AI versus human races online uh, and the gamification that will come uh, from online races. Um, we look forward to hosting you in our stadiums online and watching A2RL going forward.